Number nine. Number nine, are you okay? Do you want to talk about this? Like, I understand when this happens with, like, members of the party. Because they're walking along with me and sometimes I'll stop in an awkward place and they can't negotiate around. But you... You're a completely independent artificial intelligence. You can literally do anything you want to. You can go anywhere you want to go. And you are making the choice to repeatedly walk into... This is this is absurd. Also, I don't know how I didn't realize this sooner, but you have red wings. I mean, I guess I've been vaguely aware of it this entire time. But... I, I, I don't know why that wasn't fascinating to me before. No one else has different colored wings, do they? I mean, I know that Uni's got kind of like dirty wings compared to Melia's, but I, have we ever seen a character? We probably have. This is probably not remarkable. I'm just, I'm, uh, number nine. You're an embarrassment to this entire detachment. Do you think that we could like, can we nudge her? Do you think we could get her out of this if we nudged her? I don't even know if she has collision. If we, if we position... And then we just do that. Okay. There we go. I thought for sure she was just going to start walking into it again. Bless her heart. She is very confused by the presence of this mech. It's, it feels like she really wants to get around it and she's not entirely sure how. Look at her! She's just like, oh god, bless her heart. She cannot figure it out. Honey... Oh, honey. Oh, where are you trying to get to, number nine? We'll take you there. Where are you trying to go? Where are you trying to... We're, we're going to make sure you get there. Don't you worry. We're just going to very carefully push. H have you reached your limit? Oh. Okay, enough of that. Let's do... <laughs> Let's do what we assume is going to be our ascension quest, shall we? I suppose you must have gotten used to your life here now, huh, Sagiri? Affirmative. Adaptation to environment is proceeding favorably. I still can't believe this is your new home. I'll be honest, I have my doubts. But hey, looks like you made it work. If there's anything you need or want, don't be afraid to ask us, okay? Actually, may I make one request? Of course, what is it? Senna, you're... Uh-huh, my what? You're Onigiri. I, uh, I'd like to... for everyone in the colony. Oh! Now that you mention it, I remember you talked about it before. Before we came here, we suffered much hardship. At least, I thought it would be optimal to reward them with something. Right, of course! That sounds like a great idea. But, are you sure you want the Onigiri? There are lots of foods that are much nicer. I want your onigiri, Senna. <laughs> Would you look at that, Senna? Looks like your cooking's found a fan. <laughs> well, if you insist that strongly, I'll have to put my best foot forward. So it sounds like we'll need quite a lot of Mithras this time. Yeah, if we want to make enough for everyone, we'll have to ask Colony Lambda to share again. Sagiri volunteering for support. Pharon manipulators should be capable of forming the onigiri. Oh, uh, thanks, Sagiri. That'll be handy. <laughs> Number seven, are you departing? Affirmative. Is something the matter, Number six? Apologies, but could we talk in private? I have an urgent report to make. Senna, will you permit it? Sure, no problem. Don't mind us, we'll be waiting just over there. Understood. I will rejoin you once I have received the report. Hmm. Invisible Bond. Where? What? I thought she was going to join us, and now the game wants me to go talk to number six. I feel like I was lied to! Tell me what's up, number six. How you doing? Now then, number six, please present your report. Before I do, I would like to verify my assumptions first. 
The number of remaining ferrons in Colony Zero is a total of seven. And the ferron ignition circuit is secured with an iris recognition lock, meaning that none, save us, are authorized to pilot them. Therefore, the use by Kevis and Agnes is fundamentally impossible. Correct? Affirmative. No errors detected in preceding statements. Hmm. Number six? Number seven. I ask for your calm. While reconnoitering in the Faunus region, I confirm the existence of an eighth unit. <gasps> Unexpected. The identification number was for... <gasps> unit number 13. That's right, there's a tragic backstory there. Does this suggest she is alive? I have no evidence. The signal disappeared quickly, and I could find no other leads. I have informed nobody of this incident so far. I didn't wish to cause undue agitation. However, I decided that you should be appraised of the situation, number seven. I, uh, uh, I know it's been on your mind ever since she disappeared. Thank you. This concludes the report. Looking forward to this onagiri. Or what have you. Hey, Sagiri. All done? Affirmative. Unit number seven is ready to depart on command. <laughs> Someone sounds eager. Well then, shall we hit the road? If she is indeed alive, I should have felt the connection. But at this moment, I feel nothing. Is it... is it really you? Number 13? Well, that's okay, super strange. Lambda. Indeed, but you know what, Senna? I think it's time we start putting people back in their clothes, because things are getting a little bit ridiculous. All right, we are in Lambda, and I've got to say, I appreciate everyone being clothed again. And everyone's outfits are kind of cute. Mio's is nice. I like it. That is... Uh, Fee... Is that Fee, Fee, Fiona's outfit? Yeah. Yeah, that's Fiona's. And then, of course, we've got Uni at present is in maybe Monica's, I think. And then <laughs> Tyhan. <laughs> Tyhan's in Nia's. And uh, it's, uh, it's adorable. All right. Let's go see if this man can provide us with a bit more rice, shall we? Hello, Lambda Soldier. How are you doing? Hey, it's you guys again. What are you after today? Do you have any myth rice? Um, actually, ideally, we need kind of a lot. Oh, I'm terribly sorry to disappoint, but our stores are currently empty. Oh, really? That's a shame. When that we came last time, didn't you imply you had considerable stockpiles? Well, to be honest, it's not just myth rice we're lacking. Recently, we've been having quite a few incidents of shippings being shipments being attacked. Food, loveness parts, you name it. We're probably short on it. Well, that sounds like a bigger problem than you'd normally encounter. What about your escort units? Surely they accompany your transports. Yeah, of course, they certainly should have done. But maybe you should talk to the Chief of Logistics for details. I wonder if they've been attacked by right, an invisible so, enemy. Bit of a dead end with the Mithrais. What do we do now, Senna? Hmm. Yeah, that's one thing, but... Senna? Hmm? Something wrong, Sigiri? Perhaps it is advisable to put the search for Mithrais on hold and focus our efforts on these attack incidents. Huh? I am inferring from past behavior patterns. This course of action is congruent with your actions I observed up to this point. Ah. <laughs> Sounds like she's got you clocked, love. Doubt you can get out of this one even if you wanted, which you probably don't. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Sagiri's got it in one. Let's capture the crooks that attacked the transports and get back the stolen Mithrais. Compliance. All right. Now that that's decided, where should we begin? 
We ought to talk to the logistics chief that our contact mentioned. They may know more about the assailants. Hey, excuse me, can we talk to you for a minute? Hmm? Ah, oh, yeah, sure thing. What can I... Ah! What? Why is that inside the colony? How did it infiltrate us? Hey, hang on. What's gotten into you? Don't act dumb. That's the leadness that attacked us, isn't it? What? Wait, what are you saying? You think the person who attacked the transport was... <gasps> no, you got it all wrong. We haven't done anything, and Sagiri's been... Senna, breathe. But this guy's... <sighs> so just to confirm, the Levness, or whatever it is you saw, are you certain it was the same as this machine? What? I just told you, didn't... Hmm. No, hang on. Now that I look closely, maybe it's not quite the same. Oh, and anyway, aren't you Commander Izzard's friends? Yes. Yes, we are. Have you calmed down now? Can we talk peacefully? I... I'm terribly sorry. It's just this levness. It freaked me out. We are investigating this matter. For the benefit of ascertaining the culprit, we request information sharing. In that case, you should speak to Sergeant Tonya. She's been assigned to the investigation. If you're willing to lend us a hand, she should be your first port of call. I imagine she'll have gotten some information by now. I hope it'll prove useful to you. Hey, say now, what the spark is going on here? <gasps> Don't worry, Sigiri. We all trust you. You said it. It can't have been the others from Colony Zero either, I'm sure. If we are to ascertain the truth, I believe that all possibilities must be considered. In other words, we don't know enough yet to conclude that the culprit was a pharaoh, right? Indeed. That's right. We'll get to the bottom of this. Yes, we will. We must. Is it coincidence? Or is it... Her. Sigiri. You know enough about the party to know that they would be willing. Oh, never mind. Cut all of this. The logistics chief told me you were coming. You wanted to talk about the attacker? Whippy said you might have some clue. I'll be honest. We don't really know anything about that Levness's whereabouts yet. However, it seems that there may have been a similar incident involving goods stolen by a Levness at Colony 4. Your guess is that the perpetrator of the Colony 4 attack was the same person who was responsible here? Yeah, I think they might be. Really, though? That's a long way to go. If nothing is done, other colonies may also suffer losses to goods and material. I was hoping you guys would be able to visit Colony 4 and investigate matters on the ground. Why us? What's wrong with you not handling it? If we Agnians did anything like that publicly, we would arouse lots of suspicion. Especially immediately after getting raided. Yeah, exactly. It would be hard for us to investigate any further. But also, since I hear you guys are all buddy-buddy with the Colony 4 folks... Yes, I see your point. Guess we're in the best position to take this on. All right, we'll take a look. Before we depart, I request a quick confirmation. The Levness that attacked the transport, was it similar to this unit? Um, if I remember correctly, I think they could be the same model. Understood. Thank you for your cooperation. It seems we could conclude that the perpetrator of the attack on the transport was a Pharon after all. Tile, mate, pal. You always know exactly what to say. Just stating the facts. Regardless, no matter if it's a Pharon or an as yet unknown Levness model, the real problem lies elsewhere. What's important is who was piloting it. Number 13. Uh, are we gonna like this? I have information to offer. Probability is high that the objective is a Pharon. Assuming that is correct, I believe I may have knowledge of the operator's identity. Whoa, really? But 
all the folks from Colony Zero were accounted for. Several years ago, a soldier went missing in action after an accident during a mission. That was number 13, the operator of Pharon Unit number 13. I see. At the time, neither the husk nor the Pharon were recovered, leading to number 13 being declared killed in the line of duty. But you're saying it's possible she's still alive somewhere today. Is that it? If number 13 got separated from her comrades, no wonder she'd be pushed to steal supplies in order to survive. I have no proof for the conjecture. However, if number 13 truly is alive, then this time around, I will be sure to... Sagiri, have you been worrying about this ever since we talked to Whitby? <sighs> All right. It looks like we've got one more objective to add to the list. Right now, to bring number 13 back to safety. Sound about right, Sagiri? Yes, Senna. All right then. Time to head to Colony 4 and look for clues, just like Tonya said. I hope there's some clue in Colony 4 about where to find number 13. Yes. Yeah, you and me both, Noah. I'm trying some experimental editing there, where instead of running between the people, I'm just gonna have it, you know, fade to black and then fade into the next conversation. So what you just watched was maybe a six or seven minute long cutscene. There was running between it, running from one person to another, but it wasn't particularly interesting enough for me to feel like it needed to be included in the video. Now, where are we going? Oh, Colony 4. Ah, Colony 4. It's been too long, it's been too long. Remember when these gigantic guys right outside the city were super intimidating? and it felt like we would never be able to face them. I'm fighting them just so we can have that sense of progress that you feel in a video game when you've come so far that something that wrecked you before is now really easy. That's where we're at right now, and that's the only reason we're fighting this guy. There's literally no other reason. Beautiful, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Was one of these a special guy? You know, like the orange type? I forget what they're called. There's blue guy. Which just it gives you a buff when you defeat him. And then there's Orange Guy that drops... He's a unique. And he drops a fast travel point and probably other things. Regora Hawks is not to be confused with the official animal of Howdy Folks. <laughs> the Knuckle Hawks. Everyone's favorite of the Hawkses. Ooh, we can have a stop in with Ymir. And maybe drop off some more loveness parts? Although we haven't fought many lovenesses, so what do we have? We got some of these. And then we got a couple of those. Alright, I mean, we're not too far off. I guess we'll need to really make an effort to fight more Agni and lovenesses. We'll be back, sir. Ah, you guys. Hi there. Uh, could you keep it brief? I'm kind of snowed under. Then we'll get right to it. Someone hit one of your transports, yeah? What? Where'd you hear that? Oh, whatever. At least it will be quick. Remember before, when a secret messenger we sent to our allies got attacked? The same leftness from that time showed up again, only this time it went after... Well, you already know. Do you have anything that might help us track them? Oh, you guys are tracking them too? Yeah, for a few reasons. You want to let us handle your side of it as well? Sure, since you ask so nicely. Cheers, Maxi. We owe you. And sorry for the hassle. Nah, don't mention it. This isn't the time for personal feelings. Best focus on resolving the matter at hand. According to my info, the attack took place around the border between here and the Danar Desert. If you search every nook and cranny thereabouts, you might find something. Understood. Then we'll have to go do just that. I'm sure it goes without saying, but I'll say it anyway. Be real sparking careful. Oh, and good luck. Are we actually going to have to go check every nook and cranny? Like, are we actually going to have to go... Or is it... Do we just go literally to that mark on the map right there? And that is exactly where we're going to find the thing. What the heck? What is this? We've never been back here before. We've never been... There's just... I, I thought we'd explored this region very thoroughly. I had no idea we still had a container back here. 
Oh, this changes literally everything. The entire game now is different. It isn't. That, that changes very little. It was one little corner. Detecting a faint energy signature. Are you? Really? I'm not. Also, I don't see any nooks or crannies around here. Which is what I was told to be on the lookout for. Quite possibly, it could be underground, maybe? I mean, I'll tell you what we will do, is we'll go over here and we'll get this ether sphere, And then maybe in the course of, like, wrestling these creatures for that, then number 13 will show themselves. But also, possibly not. Possibly not, you know? It might just be that this is a random side thing that I wanted to do that is completely unrelated to the story that we are currently investigating and and any claim that i am actually actively working towards a goal for that story is actually just a lie and a way for me to get to do this side thing while making it seem like it's related to the actual goal at hand so it doesn't feel like a little side project but actually a bigger part of the whole picture which is finding 13. And unfortunately, that plan didn't work. 13 didn't reveal themselves. But I do see that there's like a question, like a little spyglass on the map. Is that, is that related? That's literally where we came from. That is right over here where we came from. Loveness wreckage. We, we ran right past this. There are crucial parts missing. Perhaps someone was trying to repurpose them. More importantly, there's nothing else here. Did we come here for nothing? Evidence of Pharon activity detected. Huh? What? Where? Visual sensors have detected residual flame clock energy. Its signature is unique to mobile armored units utilizing a flame clock for propulsion. Wow, you can find stuff like that. Nifty. The trail leads in the direction of the desert. Pursuit is currently possible and advised. Then let's go after them, Sigiri. Compliance. Just got a message from my mom that says, I know she isn't drinking at the moment, but didn't you say she's drinking Moscato? Mom, I don't know what that means. What on earth are you talking about? We've not talked about anyone drinking anything. I've just responded with a bunch of question marks. What are we doing? We're, we're tracing the- I'm sorry, that, that took me by shock. I wasn't expecting something from my mother. Oh, wrong person. Oh. Oh, okay. Alright, no, I, I get it now. I- yeah, okay. I, I don't... I mean, it in the modern age of smartphones, where everyone has their name at the top of the screen in, in big, bold letters, how you could send a message to the wrong person, and then get a load of this! When I sent the question mark, she said, ha-ha, and I had to send them again. What did... I, I know that doesn't have anything to do with what we're doing right now, but I'm putting my phone out of sight and out of mind. I'm wedging it between the folds of a blanket so I can't even hear it buzz. Everyone's problems are their own now. I'm playing Xenoblade. Should I be recording Minecraft? Yeah, probably. Will I? <laughs> probably not. Why would I when I can play this and it's amazing and I love it and you love it and we all love it and we're all here for the love. What are we doing? We're, we're, we're tracing a power signature. Hey, you know what? There is a door to the underground up here. Is that where this is leading? There's some kind of a door. I can't remember. Apparently it's beneath us or something. I have a vague recollection of all of this over here. I remember coming over here to this corner of the map and realizing there's not really anything over here or any reason to come over here. And I remember maybe even in the video asking, like, will this ever be relevant? Yeah! This little, this little, yeah! Look at that! It is! Oh my gosh, there's that door! Was that even in the video? It's possible that when I found this door, I was on vacation. What's it doing in a place like this? I can't remember if this ended up in a video. <sighs> Doesn't want to open. What do we do? Either it was in a video. Uh -huh. Sounds like a job for lads. Dinky door like this. All I need is a bit of a running start and. Interfacing with security seal. Entering override code. Clear. Entry lock has been released. 
Oh, oh, cool. Cheers. Might be a bit late to ask, but since we're about to meet this number 13, what kind of person is she? Number 13 was the foremost Pharon pilot in Colony Zero. In terms of pure battle prowess, she exceeds my own. If she attacks us before we can explain the situation, things might go badly for us. That will not be an issue. Number 13 will respond to me. You've got a lot of trust in her. Yes. I am sure she will understand. Cool. Cool. Well then, what say we get this dear reunion underway? I'm trying to put myself back into the mindset of editing these videos. Etco Hollow. Sure would be swell if that was the last thing we needed to find and it filled in the rest of the map. No, I guess not. Or did it? Wait a minute. It was. <laughs> that was the last thing. This region is now completely filled in. No more dark spots. We found all of the locations. Is is this the first reason we've our region we've done that for? Oh wait a minute. No, I take it back. Yeah, looky there. I think that's a thing. So that's the thing in the first game where you have to walk around to fill in the map until you found all of the landmarks and then it fills in all of the spaces, even the ones you haven't gone to. And I'm assuming it's like that in this game. Yeah, look, we haven't gone over here yet. I guess we've just wandered back and forth across the map so much that it looks that way. I don't know if that's the thing in this game. I don't know that if we find all the landmarks, it'll go ahead and, and fill in the map. I'm just assuming that it will be. It might have been a thing in two as well, although that's been some time ago. Okay, well, cool. We found this region's underground scary cave of monsters. Wait a minute. This looks familiar. This looks like something from one of the other games. And one of the other games has a spiral, and there's monsters. And I know that that's not you know, specific. I'm just I'm just stating that that is in fact. Look at what is this door? Is this door part of this quest, or is this just a hidden treasure? This is giving me familiar vibes. Ooh, maybe this is where 13's been storing all of their stuff that they've stolen. And we're gonna go ahead and steal some of it. We'll give the rest of it back to the colonies, don't mistake. But some of this stuff we're gonna hold on to. Also, I wanna see what a level 69 Randax Scorpox will render. 260. Okay. I'm, I'm always on the search for something that's gonna give us crazy numbers. I understand we're level 88. And these are level 60, 68, 69. They're not going to render a whole lot of XP. I'm sure if I just went online, someone has created a guide for the perfect down level and fight monster to rack up class points and XP. And I just refuse to do it. I much prefer to talk about doing those things and then not actually do them. Yeah, look at this place. This is swell. The 13 do this all by themselves. Put up all these... Like, random grates in the walls and everything? It's pretty well lit down here. How's that being managed? We're Objective underground. confirmed ahead. <sighs> we have no hostile intentions. Please disengage optical camouflage. Receiving unrecognized ID. Pharon unit. Number 13. So, it's red. it is her. 13. Number 7? Why do they sound the same? What? Huh? Sagiri? What? Please, I need some time. Uh, okay. I guess they're twins. Thirteen. That or something weird Number is going seven? on. Oh, I don't believe it. It's really you. It's been so long, Number Seven. I thought I'd never ever see you again. Agreed. Thirteen. I should have realized this sooner. Thirteen is a bit had, taller. This wouldn't have. No, don't worry. Slightly about darker hair. Anyway, it wasn't all terrible for me. I mean, I almost died, and I was alone for ages. But it's all been worth it. I finally realized something. And what is that? All of us Theron pilots, from the moment we were born, we didn't actually have to follow any of the orders we were given. We only thought we did. Do you understand? But it wasn't true in the slightest. 
See for yourself. Nobody gives me any orders, but I'm still able to survive like this, right? In other words, you have learned how to issue orders to yourself. <laughs> what a weird way to put it. But yeah, maybe you could say that. From this point on, all of us can run free. Live life just how we want to. So come on, number seven. Let's you and me go on a rampage together. Oh dear. Spread mayhem to the entire world. Please? Huh? Oh dear. All the things and people that made us what we are now. Now it's our turn to do with them as we like. We can loot and steal. We can smash and burn. Okay. We can even murder. Okay. <laughs> All right. Doesn't that just give you chills, number seven? All right, we found the sociopath. Like seven? You've got to be. Psychopath, even. 13? What are you talking about? Um, wait. What are you talking about? What's wrong? You've always understood me, number seven. That is. Oh, no. How very strange. I don't seem to understand you either. Before now, I always understood everything about you, number seven. Thirteen, I'm Sigiri now. Please, listen. Sigiri? What is a Sigiri? Number seven? You're number seven! Seriously, what's gotten into you? What about you? I see. Now it makes sense. Now I understand why the connection between us has up and disappeared. Thirteen. What do you mean? I and number seven have always been together. But, ah, uh, well, things change, right? I can see that your heart belongs over there now. <gasps> Sorry, Sagiri. But this... This is something I can't ignore. Agreed. Psychopaths are a problem in society. We should do something about this. Understood. Can I just throw out there what perfect coincidence it was that we've been playing as Senna this whole time? I didn't decide to start playing as Senna because I knew that we were going to be doing this series of side quests and that Senna was sort of a main focus of them, that she played a big role in them. I just picked her because I liked the class she was playing at the time. And then we just, we stumbled into Colony Zero and it happens to be the colony that provides all of the uh, development, character development that we've wanted to see for Senna since the game started. We've all just kind of lucked into this. And now, oh man, I'm loving this so much. This is such a good game! This is such a good game! I don't even want to talk about the completely cooked chain attack that I just did. I, I really don't even want to acknowledge that it happened. I'm not going to include it in the video. It was probably the worst chain attack I've ever done, simply by virtue of the fact that I was not paying any attention to what was happening during the chain attack. I don't, I do not even fully, I mean, I understand that Everything that went wrong with it was entirely my fault, but I don't really know how I let those things happen, and I am just... I am shamed. I am embarrassed. You'll never see it, but I know that it happened, and I also hate how, gosh, at the end of that animation, you are stuck in uh, watching the animation for like two or three seconds, like after it's already ended, which is normally enough to overheat your Orvoros form, and that's frustrating. But also, we did it. We beat up the little girl. I am begging you. Please, come with me. Everyone is waiting for you. Thirteen. Let us go home. Home? Where is that? Huh? Where can I go back to? Where am I supposed to go? Thirteen. You will always... Don't you get it, number seven? From the very start, there's never been a place for us in this world. That's why I wanted to make one. And to do that, everything else must first be torn down. 
We have to burn this world that Mobius loves so much, down to the ground, then take back all that they stole from us. Is that why you attacked and pillaged the colony units? Keep on doing that, and you only create more enemies. And for what? So I was right about you. You don't understand me after all, Number Seven. I like how we're just not allowed to watch how they get in and out of those things. I am sorry, Thirteen. Presumably because no but one bothered before, to figure it out. <laughs> I thought, of all people, you would surely understand my reasoning. But by doing that, I over-relied on the connection I thought we had, and neglected to pay attention to the real you. I failed to consider how deeply you must have felt about us, and now, I have lost you. Hmm. Listen, please, Thirteen. This world... It is not as cruel and heartless as you have thought. There are people, even outside of Colony Zero, who accepted me as Sagiri, as their own. And if that is true, there must be a place we can call home. Hmm. You really have changed. I don't think the old Number Seven would ever say something like that. Since I and the others have changed, it would follow that the world itself may also change. Or do you think that reasoning is false, Thirteen? <laughs> oh, you really are something else, Number Seven. Who but you would think of others so much? On the day that you disappeared, Number Thirteen, I made a decision. Even if my fate was to run down my clock to the last, I would defend every last person in Colony Zero. I see. Isn't it funny? I had the same idea and tried my hardest to achieve it. That is precisely why, if our roles were reversed, I would have chosen just as you have. <laughs> you may well have. I suppose we aren't so different after all. Yes. And we are connected. Now and forever. That's right. Well then, I feel relieved. Ah, oh, Thirteen, wait! Well, that was something of a bit of a tragedy, wasn't it? They just totally bailed. Did they leave any cool stuff behind? No. They didn't. Where where the heck... Is this... this is this the entrance where we came in at? Wait, hold on. Where are we now? Relative to how we got in here. This is a different cliff. A dead end. We had the entrance covered. There shouldn't have been any other way through. Sparks. You don't think she jumped off from here, do you? No. Thirteen is alive. You can tell? Number Thirteen and I have had a connection since the moment of birth. A connection? I would conjecture it to be a phenomenon akin to telepathy. My sense of it had been severed after she disappeared. But now, I can feel Number Thirteen's existence clearly once again. Could it be connected somehow to you and her being so similar? That is unclear. However, there may be some kind of causal connection between the two. What is with these ah, two? Mystery upon mystery. It will be good to meet her again. I guess we'll have to make enough onigiri for one more person next time. I would like that. And I conjecture number 13 would too. Well... We've come a long way on our quest to make some rice balls. <laughs> After all that effort, I bet Senna's onigiri will taste that much better. Mimi, I don't really need the extra pressure. You know what does need pressure? The myth rice. Let's grab what was stolen and skedaddle. Yeah. We should give the good news to Colonies 4 and Lambda while we're at it. Yes.
I suppose this quest isn't finished yet then, which is good, because I was actually worried they might leave it at that. Hey, that's the thing for the stuff. You're that's absolutely the correct, Senna. Thank you for your efforts. Everyone is exceedingly grateful. <laughs> it's a bit of a shock to me that the Onigiri were a hit with the others, not just you. It's given me a kick in the butt. Maybe I should go ahead and learn to cook properly. Is that something you want to do, Senna? Uh, um... When you put it like that... I guess maybe that's a bit much. Is that so? Sana? Hmm? I would like to create a new colony. Hmm? A new colony? So, you mean different from Colony Zero? Yes. It would be a place where we would not have to hurt others and steal to live. Where, even if we go far away, we'll have a place to come back to. A colony we can all call home. That's what I want to make. I see. Sounds to me, you finally found your calling. If I had not met you, Ouroboros, I would have remained number seven would not have reconciled with 13. I might even have had to harm her. My comrades and I can exist in this way because of what you and the others have done. Therefore... <clears throat> Thank you, Sana. Well, that was sweet, wasn't it? They really know how to tug at the old heartstrings around here, don't they? The hero's class rank has increased to level 20, and guess what else? Hey, the class rank is now increased to level 20. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Thanks for letting me know. Oh, that was beautiful, and there's something else to do here. We're not done yet. What do we reckon this is going to be about? Oh my gosh, you think it's finally going to be the Nopon? Number 10, are you associated with any of this? You want to know how I knew that number 8 was hiding a relic? Well, we were on the same task for starters, but to tell the truth, he's really easy to read. His face says it all. Really? Uh, this has nothing to do with anything. I <laughs> Just unrelated. Number 7. Hmm? Hey, number 7, are you listening? Ah! Apologies, number 6. What do you need of me? You don't seem like yourself, number seven. Are you feeling okay? Affirmative. Condition green. I am completely fine. Maybe it's a little late for this, but perhaps from now on I should call you Sigiri instead of number seven. I do not mind either way. I wouldn't be so sure of that. I called you number seven, and for a moment you didn't even respond. That's proof enough. If we were in combat just now, how do you think things would have turned out? Do I need to say more? I have no counter-argument. Honestly, I don't understand this whole name concept, but I'll leave the decision to you. Compliance. I will give it my consideration. Hmm. Why does everything have to be info acquired? Why can't it just be the start of a mission? Also, what about this guy back here? Why does he not want to engage with us on any level? Oh, fixy, fixy. I keep expecting to go back there and he'll have that little star that means he's got something new or interesting to provide to the conversation. Hopefully we'll get there. Hopefully. Senna, once again, I wish to make a request. A request? Uh, to me? Affirmative. You are uniquely qualified to fulfill it. It sounds so formal. I gotta admit, I'm kind of nervous. Hey, goes to show 
how much she trusts you in it. So, what you need? I require assistance in devising what you call names. Names for who? Or what? Number six, number three, number fifteen, all the members of Colony Zero. Similar to Sigiri. I mean, me. They should have names, not identification numbers. Oh! As you know, the soldiers of Colony Zero are unfamiliar with the concept of names. As components require to operate Pharons, we did not have the luxury to question such things. Well, Sigiri... But when you, Senna, told me that Sigiri could give number seven orders, the moment I reconfigured from number seven to Sigiri, I realized there had been an error in my thinking. I began to confront the simple fact that we are human. And that's why you want names for everybody? If everyone can acquire names and become more human, they could feel the same as I do. If we can do that, perhaps our colony can forge a better path than the one it is currently on. Aww. Will you do this for me, Senna? Well, when you put it like that, I'd love to be all absolutely, but... But what? What's up? I mean, it's kind of a huge responsibility. I have to think about it really carefully. This isn't like you, Senna. What happened to the gusto with which you invented the name Sigiri? That was... I mean, I was thinking about Sigiri a lot, and that name just sort of popped into my head. A anyway, Sigiri, I'll give this good hard think, so can you give me a little time? Of course, you have my gratitude, Senna. Why don't we take this opportunity to look back on everything that's happened so far? The people of Colony Zero have been through a lot. It might help you come up with some names. Oh yeah, good point, Mimi. Let's do that then. With all that's been going on, we might as well take a stroll around the prison. I'll come up with something. Compliance. I will accompany you. New names. Hey there! Hello, can you hear me? Senna, a pharaon is an inanimate object. Though it is a humanoid in appearance, it is not alive. <laughs> no duh, Sigiri. I thought maybe somebody was inside. I have confirmed number 15's unit is unoccupied at present. Uh, oh yeah? Well, looks like he's doing like we asked. Indeed, visual confirmation of number 15 occurs on occasion, even within the prison. Before we came here, he was more inclined to avoid social interaction. One might call this a great improvement. Sigiri, what do you think of number 15, personally? At the least, he's a capable soldier. At the least? Amendment. I admit I also did not know what to do with him. Even I could not predict his more idiosyncratic qualities. Understanding eluded me. However, I'm learning to understand others better as I work with them. That incident has awaken, awoken this new awareness within me. Hmm. Number 15 is a kind person. Of that, at least, there is no mistake. I mean, he seemed kind of like a bit of a grumpy Gus to me, but... I mean, you speak of it with such confidence, I assume we have to take your word for it. Oh, the painting! I received a report on this relic from number 10. It reminded me of how we got it restored in accordance with number 8's wishes. Oh, that's right! That was kind of tough, but since it made him happy, that's really all that matters. Number 8 followed orders with de devotion. It is something that number 6 values highly, as someone who respects discipline. That number 8 would hide the relic from all of us was, frankly speaking, quite astonishing. Haha, <laughs> that must have been a shock for you, Sigiri. On the other hand, it may be that this, that was the real face of number 8. It could be that number 10 recognized this and wished to support number 8's wishes. I suppose so. Those two might actually really be like two peas in a pod. They were both so curious. Indeed, just understanding this, I can see that there was meaning to this relic. Can we talk more about this relic? Every time I look at it, I'm a little bit more confused. There is literally nothing in any of the other Xenoblade games with an art style at all like this. This is just so... Like, the clothing, the design of the characters... It's so strange. 
I do not know what to make of it. It's very odd, but okay. On we go. It'd be nice to be able to change the camera to be slightly not centered, like slightly off center, like have center slightly to the left or to the right. And you can't do that as far as I can tell. Camera position, wait a minute. No, yeah, see, that's just like up and down, in and out. There is no way to, um, there's no way to reposition it to where it's slightly off center, as far as I know. If you know a way, comment down below. Have things been okay with the monster since? They haven't grown a number again or anything. No issue at present. We work together in two man shifts to call their numbers. Cool, you guys are pretty strong. I bet you don't have any problems when you work together. Your bet is not entirely accurate. Conflicts do arise depending on the pairing, such as with number nine and number three. Such issues did not arise under Consul's command. His control of us was most rigorous. Hmm, I guess just because you're comrades doesn't mean you've got to get along all the time. Or maybe, maybe it's because they're comrades that they argue sometimes? I mean, like, there's times I get into arguments with Mimi, too. Y you do? It wasn't always that way. I think we used to avoid it, you know, subconsciously. But now we're at a place where we both feel we can tell each other whatever we have that needs to be said. I guess if that's the result, then the odd fight isn't such a bad thing, huh? I had never considered the issue from this perspective. I must process. Sagiri, if there's ever anything you want to say to me, I don't want you to hold back, okay? Oh, and not just with me. I mean with the whole of Colony Zero. I shall try. Maybe we could leave the prison grounds, stretch our legs? I have no objections. Where do you wish to go? Um, where was it we all went together? Mac the Wildwood, and then around Capricorn Peak? Compliance. You're making me go on a little bit of a globe trot here, trot here aren't you? Globe, globe trot? What is a globe trot? What is a trot? I probably don't want to know. Probably, probably something awful. Interesting that they would want us to return to this location, where we found our little no pawn friend, our little scammy no pawn friend. Not sure what kind of conversation this might spur. I've got to thank number six for introducing us to Wheelie Dealy. I concur. Without number six's negotiations, outfitting the prison camp would have been impossible. I am not the most loquacious of people, and I speak most formally. I would have caused misunderstanding, but number six... Hey, don't worry about it, Sigiri. You're a great person, too. A anyway, can you tell me a little more about number six? Like, what sort of name he'd be happy with? Number six dislikes pointless effort. He seeks to be concise in all things. Okay, let's call him Bob. It's short. Three letters. Bo would be even better. Just B-O. <laughs> mm. As such, it might be best to avoid giving him an excessively long name. So then it should be something that can, that you can say quickly. Kind of like Senna. Also, I would ask you to consider something if possible, and not just for number six. Names that somehow incorporate their previous ID numbers. You mean like how I got the se in Sigiri from the number seven? Yes. Perhaps if everyone had a similar source for their names, it would be more equal. No one would have cause to complain. What's the real reason, though? I'd like to be the same as everyone else. <laughs> you got it. I think you might be onto something. Yep, at this rate, I won't need much longer to come up with those names. Sigiri, how are things between number 9 and number 3 since last time? Recently, I often see them together in the prison mess hall. Number 9 still does become emotional at times, but overall they maintain a satisfactory relationship. I'm glad they've managed to repair their friendship. Number 9's fluid emotions cause her to take a more aggressive tact with the others. In spite of this, number three did not give up her attempts to improve relations with number nine. I hold great admiration for number three's sense of perseverance and self-sacrifice. Yeah, just talking to her, I can tell she really cares about the others. 
And number nine is trying to become an offseer for everyone she's lost. They're both the same at heart. They've just got different ways of showing it. Until now, I believed that showing excessive emotion would have a de detriment during battle. But with number three and number nine, I wish them to continue living by following their feelings. Good, good! That's why I've got to come up with some good names for them, too. Don't live by following your emotions, folks at home. It's a bad idea. You'll make terrible decisions and say really dumb things. Use your brain. How about it, Senna? Did you come up with names for everybody? Yep. Chatting with Segri, let me apply some Senna thinking to the problem. I think I've got some names. Ah, truly. Uh-huh. I just need to think how we'll tell everybody. <laughs> Why don't we just get everybody together in the central cell and hit them with their new names? I, uh, well... That makes me kind of nervous, not gonna lie. This is an excellent suggestion. Please do that. Guess that's that, then. H hey this is very important, you know. Don't make fun of me, please, okay? I shall ask everyone to gather. The rest is up to you, Senna. Uh, yep! I'll sure do my best! Oh, sparks. Everyone is gathered, number seven. Is there some kind of problem? No, number eight. I am not number seven anymore. Call me Sigiri. Huh? What's that all of a sudden? Hmm... All units hear me. As of this moment, I am rescinding all identification numbers previously assigned to Colony Zero soldiers. Wait, you've mentioned changing the way we refer to you. Now it's extending to us as well? Perhaps you did not consider this, but it is only right that we have names. Not just me, but all of us. We are all human. Just the same as the others who live in this world. We're... human? But, but this name business is all really sudden. Uh, what are we supposed to call ourselves? Not to worry, I've given a lot of thought to names for you all. Huh? Why do you get to name us? I think that's a little out of line. Now, now, we can always say no after we hear her out. It might be fun. Okay, number six, you are... Ix... Hmm. I assume that's how that's pronounced. What do you think? Ix? What's up with that? I mean, well, wait a minute. Ix? It's not too bad. I, I really like how short it is. Number three, you are Trini. Trini. Number three is Trini. What's happening? I, I feel a little tingly. Is this what having a name feels like? Number eight, you could be called... Elik. Elik. Number eight is Elik. 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 I hope I'm saying it correctly. Elik, Elik. It looks like it would be pronounced like eight, so maybe Elik. Eight, I, I, eight, eight. Elik. Elik. Eight. Elik. Elik. It's Elik. Because it's like eight, but it's Elik. I've got it. I'll be Elik from now on. For number 15, I've got... 15! Hey, what the... I go to 15 from 15, really? That's barely any different! <laughs> I think it's good, 15. It's shorter than saying number 15 at any rate. I think it suits you, number 15. I, uh, I, I mean, 15. If you say so, number 3... <sighs> Sorry. Trini. And you could be... Hmm... How do you feel about flying? <laughs> flying? Y you don't like it? Hmm. Flying the Offseer. I guess that's what they'd call me in the future. Better than number nine, the Offseer, anyway. Though that's not saying much. Huh, whatever. I'll let you have this one, number seven. I, I mean, Sigiri. Whoa. Hey, hey, what about me? Don't leave me hanging. What's my name? Um, you'll be... Tina. Tina, huh? Nice! Weirdly fitting! I believe it will take time for us to get used to these names. But from now on, 
We should use them for each other. Compliance number seven. Uh, oops, I mean... Haha, <laughs> you've already messed up, Ix. F fline. What? Um, sorry, I just wanted to try it. Pfft, quit being weird, Trini. Number seven is Sigiri, number six is Ix, number three is Trini, number 15 is Buffteen. It's Biffteen, man! Looks like they've got... They've taken to those names. I'm glad for you. Thanks. I was real nervous. But it was worth all that hard brain time. Did it go about how you expected, Sigiri? Yes. Now that you have given them names, it feels like we are finally a unit. All of us... We are now humans with real names. We get to start over here and now. We and our colony have been reborn. That was beautiful. Is the painting just supposed to be like some sort of symbol symbolism? Right? I guess... Is it the same like number of... So let's see, it's three girls and... One, two, is it one, two, three, four girls and three boys. Yeah, I suppose that's roughly the same as what they've got going on here. Maybe it's just symbolic of how they're a family now. I think we've done all that we can do here now. We don't have any more marks in the map. There are no more conversations to be had. I think that we have well and truly settled in Colony Zero. They're a little family now. They all have names. You got Flying and, and Ix and <laughs> ridiculous names. But I think we can leave them now and head out for our next adventure, which I suppose we have to pick for ourselves. And I mean, I'd like to finish an Opon Register, but I don't really know where to find... You know what? Let's activate it and then we'll see how many left we've got to discover. Let's see. 17 of 19. I mean, do I just need to... Because they tend to pop up around, like, Pharaon or, or, like, Pharaonis Hulks. Do I just need to fast travel around and make sure that I've checked every single campsite? Oh, that could take a while.